and define this line and this arc as tangent constraint. Oh, the sketch is displayed in red color. If you exit sketch, a message will pop up. What's going on? Just click no first. I'll tell you the answer later. In the history manager, the sketch is marked in red color. It means that this sketch has conflicted constraint. Now let's see how to solve this problem. Redefine it. Inquire constraint status. Red color means overdefined. Click this button to get unsolved constraints and dimensions information. Tangent constraint, equal constraint, arc length. For any dimension, we can toggle it or erase it. Now, toggle arc length. At this time, the sketch is good, and the tangent constraint does work. Let's continue to define this sketch. Add concentric for this arc and circle. Define these two points with the same Y position. Add horizontal distance for them. Make it 40. Check the sketch again. See? It is well defined now. Axis sketch. It is OK in the history manager. For these variables, how to define the link relations? Let's check it out. Redefine the sketch. Double click this radius dimension. Click this button to select variables. In this dialog, select the right file and the needed variable. Click OK. The radius value is updated. It is 15. Pick this angular dimension. Do the same operation. Select the angle variable to finish. Then this geometry is updated. Return to modeling environment. When editing the value of variable, make the value of radius 20. Then the sketch is automatically updated. Modify the angle value, make it 125. Also, the sketch will be automatically updated. Next, let's see some sketch skills. First, use curve connectivity command to check the sketch is closed or open. Second, use copy and paste to reuse sketch. Third, we locate the sketch with a command on the right menu. Now, let's make a new file. Name it sketch skill. Create a basic geometry, like block. Set the length as 800. The width is 400. Insert a sketch. Pick the XY datum. In this sketch, we can directly import an image and get some curve information. To see it clearly, let's change the curve attribute. Make it black color. OK, axis sketch. You can see the sketch is located on the bottom surface. Now, from the right menu, we can relocate it. Define the new plane. Up direction. And original point. Next, do extrude operation. 
extrude this sketch from 0 to 2 mm. When you scroll down, you can see on the command panel, these settings are inactive. It means that this sketch is not closed geometry. Let's check the result. In History Manager, there are so many surfaces information, not solid geometry. Redefine the sketch to check what the problem is. Show target to see clearly. Choose Inquire and click Curve Connectivity. The track result is shown in the output window. Two unmatched, zero overmatched, and they are marked in the sketch. These two endpoints are not connected. Use Blend command to create a connecting curve. Select these curves and use default settings. Trim both, both long, then click OK. This is blend curved. Now we can check it again. Zero unmatched and zero overmatched. This is the closed geometry, and this model is updated. It has become a solid part. How to use the sketch? Firstly, enter the sketch environment. Press Ctrl and C to copy it. Define the base point. Create a new file. Name it Reuse Sketch. Insert a sketch. Use Ctrl and V to paste it. This operation is very easy to do even between different files.